We've launched the Stack Store. You can now choose from a curated selection of over 25 local and overseas brands. Visit stackhomes.com slash store now and refresh your home. Hey, it's Juliana from Stacked, and today I'm back in Aogang to take a look at a home that's here at Evergreen Park. So it is situated right along Sarangan River and it is a development that consists of only three and four bedroom units which makes it a popular choice among homeowners with a larger family setup. And today we're lucky to have a family of five invite us to take a tour of their lovely four bedroom unit over here. So let's head right in and see what living here really feels like. Just a quick background about this unit, this is a four-room apartment with three and a half baths and the total size is 1,367 square feet. So the homeowners purchased this place for 1.15 million and they spent about 120k for renovations to spruce up this place. And since this is their third time moving, they've decided that this is going to be their forever home and thus a lot of emphasis was placed into choosing the right materials that were both durable as well as easy to maintain. Now, let's start off at the entryway. As you enter the home, you'll be greeted by this entryway. So on this side, we have cabinets to neatly store away your shoes, along with a display shelf to showcase any decor or to keep your daily essentials such as your keys easily accessible. This entryway cabinet also wraps around this corner for additional storage. Previously, there used to be a utility room over here that was larger in size, but the homeowners have decided to reduce the size of that to allow for more space in the dining. So right next to the dining area, we have this reeded swing glass door that opens up into the enclosed kitchen. The galley kitchen over here is very generous in size and it's suitable for a household with a higher occupant count such as this one. So this kitchen is finished in neutral tones. It's got grey flooring, laminates as well as a wood compact plus top. Lots of storage options here as well. Both sides are built in with under and over counter storage. On this end, the wall separating the kitchen and the service yard was removed, making this area feel like an extension of the kitchen. You have a dedicated area for your laundry needs as well as a storeroom in that corner. And it's just really refreshing to see a service yard of this size, especially now that it's almost non-existent in newer developments. The homeowners really prioritize having sufficient storage and thus they've added these shallow cabinets and display shelf on the opposite end of the dining area. But apart from what we see over here, they've also decided to dedicate an altar flushed along this wall. So the detail of this arc partition along with the cove lighting really helps to nicely frame this altar. Moving on to the living room here, it is wide enough to fit a large three-seater sofa with a good amount of distance to the TV. I can also imagine an additional armchair or beanbag fitting in here just fine if you need additional seating. But for now, we've got a fairly large Christmas tree in its place. The TV wall is kept fairly simple. We've got the same arch detailing that we saw earlier with a low TV console and additional storage. The windows in the living room are all full height, so not only does this allow for a good amount of natural light to come into the home, it also showcases the pleasant greenery of Bangkok Forest and a view of Sarangan River. Moving further in, we have a powder room over here, which I feel is a unique feature to this home. So this is great, especially if you're somebody who holds often, and it ensures that your guests have a dedicated restroom to use. So the works in this restroom were kept very minimal. Instead of tiling, they've opted to paint the walls and they've added in a wall trim here as well for a soft colonial feel. Right across from the powder room, we have bedroom number one. This is currently occupied by the daughter. But one thing that I do want to point out would be the change in flooring. So all of the flooring in the bedrooms used to be parquet, but this has been overlaid by the homeowners with vinyl to ensure longevity and easy maintenance. To factor in for changes as the child grows up, the only built-in feature that we have would be the wardrobe. It currently fits a single bed with a pull-out mattress, but can most definitely fit a queen-size bit here in the future. All the bedrooms in this house apart from one all have an ensuite bathroom and the homeowner has shared with me that they actually gave full control to their children on how they wanted to design their own room. So from the color of the paint down to the tiles in the bathroom. And looking around, I have to say they've done really well with designing the space. 
So before we check out the master bedroom, let us first take a look at the rest of the bedrooms. Over here, we have bedroom number two, and it's currently used as a study. So instead of placing a study table in each one of the bedrooms, the homeowners has decided that it's better and more conducive for the kids to study together here with minimal distractions. And in the future, when the youngest child grows up, this will be converted into his bedroom. The third and final common bedroom is currently occupied by the eldest daughter. So here we have a super single platform bed right in front of a wide four panel window which does bring about a whole lot of natural light into this room. And just like the ensuite that we saw earlier, the daughter also designed this bathroom. It is tastefully done with pastel blue wall tiles coupled with wood looking floor tiles. And this is actually a Jack and Jill bathroom with the other door opening out to the corridor but since there's already a powder room in this house, only the daughter uses this bathroom. And finally, the master bedroom. So in here, you'll find a king-size bed with a generous amount of leftover space. We've got the same four-panel window and out here, you get to enjoy the views of Serangoon River which stretches down Aokang Avenue 7. Lining this entire wall is the master bedroom wardrobe. More than enough space for the homeowners with sufficient storage even in the bedroom. And if you're wondering where the ensuite bathroom is, well, the entrance is nicely concealed over here. So similar to the kitchen, this bathroom is finished in neutral tones. We've got grey floor walls and cabinetry. And you do know that this is a great size because we've got both the standing shower as well as the bathtub all in one place. So now that we've seen the entire unit, let us head out to wrap up this tour. And if you're enjoying this tour so far, do remember to click on the like and subscribe button to get future updates on videos like this where we tour interesting homes all around Singapore. And now that you've seen this home, let me just share more with you about this development as a whole. Evergreen Park is located in District 19 along Aokang Avenue 7. And this 99 years leasehold development TOP'd in 1999 and there are a total of 394 units spread across four blocks comprising of three and four bedroom apartments. As for the development itself, there are several features and facilities to highlight. So in the heart of the development, we have a swimming pool with an attached wading and spa pool. Right beside the swimming pool is the clubhouse, which houses the event room and the gymnasium. In between blocks 35 and 37, there's also a sizable children's playground, fitness corner and a tennis court. With regards to nearby amenities, for shopping and eating establishments, you'll find the Midtown, Aokang Mall, Aokang Green Shopping Mall, and they're all a short drive away. If you're looking to enjoy some greenery and respite from the city life, you have the Serangoon Park connector that runs along the Serangoon River, and that's right at your doorstep. So that leads you all the way to Pongo Park and Coney Island. For those of you who commute on public transport, Aokang MRT station is a 15 minutes walk away or a couple of stops away by the bus. And for those of you who drive, the closest expressway is the KPE, which easily connects you to both the TPE and PIE. The CBD or the Orchard Road shopping belt is both under a 24 minutes drive away. For families with little ones, primary schools within the one kilometer radius, we have CHIJ, Our Lady of the Nativity, as well as Holy Innocence Primary School. Finally, you can read more about this development at stackedhomes.com editorial. So this particular unit is not up for sale, but if you're looking for one just like this, you can reach out to us via our website as well. And as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave us a comment, and hit that notification bell for updates on future videos. That's all that I have for you in this one. We'll see you in the next one.